This is 30 Days of Play. The mission of Shelly being the sports queen is to inspire kids to be willing to try new sports. Rarely are we good at something the first few times we try it, but if we really want it, we'll get back up and try again. I want Shelly being the sports queen to be a role model for that. In this video series, we'll introduce you to 30 different sports, then we ask you to join our cause by going to ShellyBeingTheSportsQueen.com and becoming a member of the fan club. Be sure to check out the sponsors that you see on the screen. Without them, this video series wouldn't be possible. This is 30 Days of Play. Today's sport in our 30 Days of Play is horseback riding. And I'm super excited to have with us 10-year-old Audrey, 9-year-old Gavin, and our horse expert, Holly Conacher. Welcome, Holly. Would you like to introduce our main character here yeah, today? The main, main character of the day is Lefty. That is his barn name. His registered name is Sultan Sahib. He is a 17-year-old Arabian gelding. Wow, and he's absolutely beautiful. Now, this is officially Gavin's horse, is it's that right? Correct. Okay. But you grew up with horses showing. Tell us a little bit about your horse story. Well, I, I rode my first horse at two weeks old because my mother had a horse. And um, <laughs> I, I've been in love with horses ever since, and it's been a lifelong passion for me. I competed as um, a young girl up until my teenage years and through, and through high school. And now I actually compete as an adult at horse shows around the country. So it's, it's been a great way for me to develop friendships, lifelong friendships, mm -hmm. and uh, have a sport that I continue to enjoy um, into, into my adult life. That's awesome. And I'm Thank really you. excited to be here at your parents' home, actually, with several horses in the background. Um, Holly, what are you going to go through with us today? Well, I'm going to talk to you about um, horse care. Okay. I'm going to talk to you about rider safety, and then we're going to talk about some of the, the points of riding a horse. And uh, Audrey and you will have an opportunity to ride Lefty today. We're going to get on Lefty. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Welcome to 30 Days of Play. Here we are with Lefty, and we need to go through some horse care tips, right? Yes. Before you ride a horse, you need to make sure that you brush the horse because you want to make sure that they are free of any injuries or burrs or anything that could be um, irritating for them when you're riding them. So first things first, Audrey, I'm going to have you start brushing the horse and we want to make sure that there's no cuts or scrapes or anything like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean his feet out. We need to make sure that there's no rocks or cuts on his feet. So what I'll do is I'll pick up the hoof and I'll let you do the cleaning. It can be intimidating with such a big horse. And that doesn't hurt him, huh? No, the edge of their feet is more like a fingernail. Wow, good job, Audrey. At least, um, we live in Minnesota and there's flies, so we need to put fly spray on him. Mm. Good job. Very brave. Ten-year-old girl on a big horse. Part of um, rider safety will be wearing a helmet. Um, it's important to protect your head in case you fall off. You don't want to get a concussion or anything worse. So let's let's see if this will fit you. It's uh, soft on the inside and got a little cushion. And we want to make sure that it fits your head um, around as well as we need to make sure that it's secure on the bottom. Great. Okay. And for the kids at home, it seems very similar to a bike helmet. It is very similar to a bike helmet, correct. Great. Another important piece of rider equipment would be riding boots. Um, it's important to have a boot that has a heel. The saddle that goes on the horse has stirrups, which you put your feet through. And if you don't have a heel, like a tennis shoe doesn't, you would be um, running the risk of your foot going through, and if you were to fall off, the horse would get scared and you would be drugged. And lastly, if you notice um, how the horse uh, has eyes on the side of their head, it's very important that we don't ever walk up directly behind the horse. Um, we want to walk on their sides. If we walk up directly behind them, they can't see us, and we run the risk of being kicked. Holly, how do we put the equipment on the horse? 
That's a great question, Audrey. I'm going to show you now. This is what's called a saddle pad. It goes underneath the saddle and it goes right up next to the horse's skin. So we make sure that it fits properly and this one does. So this one was made for Lefty. And then this is the saddle. We're going to lift it up and over his back. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is something called a cinch and this is how we get the horse's saddle to stay on. And so that belt is going to come underneath his belly? It does, yes. Okay. And this is what we, um, we tighten it. And uh, some horses whoops, do not like the cinch as well. They're what we call cinchy, so we have to saddle them up a little bit more slowly so they can get used wow. to it. How does Lefty feel about that? Um, Lefty prefers if we cinch him up a little bit more slowly. Mm -hmm. You want that before you get on him, don't you? The next item that we will be putting on is called a bridle. The bridle is what we put um, around his ears and in his face and in his mouth. So what's the purpose of having that in his mouth? So you can give him um, cues when you're riding him which direction you want to go. Okay. And if you want him to stop, you'll gently pull back on the reins. And these oh. are the reins. What's going in his mouth is called a bit. You need to make sure that the curb strap is flat underneath his chin. afraid of? Probably getting bucked off. Getting bucked off? That's a valid concern and that's one of the reasons why we use experienced lesson horses when someone is first learning how to ride. Lefty is 17 years old. He's been professionally trained and he's had lots of kids ride on him for their first time too. Um, another thing that um, we do is I'll be walking right next to you. So if you get scared, I'm right there with you the entire time. All right, so we're gonna put the, the mounting block right next to Lefty, and you're gonna come and mount on the left side. You're gonna put your left foot here. All right, so step right up. Okay, left foot, and then swing your leg around. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna have you hold the reins. All right, you're gonna hold it like it's an ice cream cone. Very good. And then you hold the bottom part here, and we'll let you slide your arm down. There you go. Okay. Next, I'm going to make sure, there you go. Thank you, Gavin. You're welcome. Okay. So to move the horse forward, you're going to be squeezing your legs. So there you go. You squeeze. Okay. Sometimes when horses are outside, they shake when they have flies come on them. So that's something that Lefty sometimes does. Good job. All right, so if you want to stop, you're going to sit back a little bit and say, whoa. Whoa. Good job, nice work, you're a natural. Good boy, Lefty. For the first time? Yes. He did good on that. He did good, and you did good, very nice. All right, I'm going to step back a little bit because you seem to be doing well. So there you go. Good job. Keep your hands low. Good work. Good work. Keep your hand nice and low because that will help you balance. Okay, good job. Let's make sure he still knows how to stop. Whoa. whoa. Very good. Good boy. Nice. Good job. Next time in a row, I'm going to say it. You are really good at this. Yeah. And okay, do end. you want to go the other direction? Yeah.
And if you want to go right, you're going to turn your hand to the right. If you want to go left, you'll turn your hand to the left. There you go. And at the end. There you go. Good job. You know what an eight is? All right. Very nice. Good job. Okay. And all right, let's have them stop now. Whoa. Good job. Very nice. Great. Nice. That's, nice. That's awesome. That You're was, pro. That was really good. Okay, now you were scared before, right? About bucking off. How do you now feel what? now that you've ridden him a little bit? I feel a lot more comfortable. That's good. You get the hang of it. You're really confident it's up done. there. That's still are. <laughs> it's beautiful. Lefty, I think I need to get on you. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind to me. I'm just going to step on and lift over. Yep. All right, Gavin, can you take the, the block away, please? Yes. Thank you. Hey, I'm on a horse. All right, there you go. Okay. All right, we need to lengthen your stirrups. Okay. To stop, you say, whoa. To go forward, you squeeze your legs. Good job, Shell. That's right. Sit back a little bit more. There you go. No, not too much. Okay, Holly, where can we find out more information about riding horses? Well, you can always talk to your local 4-H chapter in the community that you live in. Otherwise, you can go to arabianhorse.org and you can get information about Arabian horses in your community or uh, different places for riding stables that have Arabian horses as well. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. It's been an awesome day out on Lefty. Thank you so much, Gavin, for letting us welcome. ride your horse. Holly, awesome instructions. So good to spend the day with you. And Audrey, you were a brave girl. Give me five. You know, the mission of Shelly being the sports queen and 30 days of play is to inspire kids to try new sports. We hope you are inspired to try horseback riding. Be sure to check out the sponsors that you see on the screen and go to ShellyBeingTheSportsQueen.com to become a member of the fan club. And we'll see you next time on 30 days of play. Be well, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>